All right, you cannot do a Bean Barbie following series without the number one Barbie. Okay, I think we got her done. I think we got her. Stop playing with her, Riot. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. Hello, my name is Ekoi. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Sacks, a luxury hair and hair care company. And today I am bringing you video in part two of our Becoming a Barbie series for Halloween. So today we are throwing it back all the way to the late 50s when Barbie first came out and made her iconic debut. I am recreating the look of the doll that's known for this popular ponytail, the hoop earrings, those cat eye glasses, of course, the iconic black and white bathing suit. This is where the Barbie icon all began. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Just do me a favor, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let's break down how I DIY this iconic look. All the products will be linked down in the description box. So since we are a hair channel here at Silky Sacks, we have to start with the hair. And of course, I am rocking this free tress equal Barbie 12 inch ponytail. She has the flip, as you can see. Now this ponytail does come in a few colors. I'm rocking it in the 1B. If you'd like to have more information on this ponytail, because it's super cute and you can definitely rock it in a lot of ways, please check out the review. I will link the full review down in the description box. So I went ahead and applied the ponytail. The ponytail is very easy to put on. It is a drawstring ponytail. Add a little mousse to bring it all together. Then I added these bangs. Now, these bangs are just bangs that come individually by themselves. They were straight, so I did curl them with some mousse and some rollers, rolled them up. Now, I did put them in the microwave and they burned up a little bit, so I don't suggest you do that. What I do suggest you do is either curl with a curling iron or you can roll it and then dip it in hot water, which is the better way to do it and what I end up doing after I realized that I was kind of starting to singe the bangs. So yeah, this is synthetic hair. So just be careful with heating it up. I think I did a pretty good job adding those bangs and they just simply attach on the back. There are clips, you clip them on. And then I attached them further back in order to give that look because her bangs didn't really cover up her forehead. And then you need some of the cat style glasses, white cat style glasses. I just use my white Loewe glasses that are already cat style. They were super popular over the summer and I had got me a pair, so I just used those. You can get these kind of glasses, oh my God, probably anywhere, of course, Amazon, Shein, or wherever. You can get some uh, white cat style glasses online. I'm just using what I already have because that is what I like to do, especially when it comes to Halloween costumes. So I just took and put the glasses on top of the bangs and that kind of hides also uh, the bangs and helps it to look a little bit more um, natural. Now there is some dolls that have the swoop ponytail so you don't have to curl the bangs, you can do that swoop look, but the original Barbie and the first Barbie definitely had the curly bangs so I wanted to make sure that I added that. Can't be the first Barbie without the bangs. Next, I went ahead and did my makeup. You cannot be the iconic Barbie without makeup. I went in first and went in with blue eyeshadow because the original Barbie actually had on blue eyeshadow. So I put on blue eyeshadow and then I lined my eye at the top with that black thick liner. I also lined my water line with black eyeliner. And then of course I went in with red lips because you can't have the Barbie look without the iconic red lips. Then next, you need the accessories. You cannot beat Barbie, the especially Barbie number one, without the accessories, the iconic white sun glasses that are the cat style glasses. Then I went ahead and added my gold hoops. I love gold, so I had a pair of gold hoops, but you can get gold hoops anywhere. They're very easy to get, very classic. And then, of course, you cannot be the iconic first Barbie without the black and white bathing suit. Now this black and white bathing suit, I actually thrifted because they did have, of course, the black and white bathing suits that came out during the summer to help promote the movie, but they all sold out very quickly and they're now uh, reselling very, very, very pricey. And even other companies who sold the bathing suits, they're very, very pricey. So I did what your girl loves to do. I went ahead and did a little thrifting and found me a black and white bathing suit. So I started thrifting pretty early because I knew that I wanted to be Barbie for Halloween. So I don't know how um, available black and white bathing suits are. I mean, there are a ton of styles. I wanted this one specifically because it has these stripes that go down, kind of like 
her suit did but any black and white bin suit in my opinion will do if you have the money and you want to spend it more you definitely can get the more iconic one that looks like the doll i just wanted to stay within a certain budget and use things i already have and do things that are good for the environment i love to thrift so once i came upon this one i was like yep girl your it you will do so i had that and then of course you cannot be barbie without the classic black pumps so i found these black pumps at forever 21 and as long as you have a black strappy pump you are good to go so between the ponytail the bangs the glasses the hoops of course the iconic blue eyeshadow and red lip strappy bathing suit and there you have it barbie so let me know how did you think i did did i kill this one did i make it now even though the original doll did come with blonde hair and brunette hair they also have a black barbie that they remade that is number one that you can get and they also have the um they call it the bubble cut hair barbie with this iconic bathing suit i actually have that doll so i want to insert some footage of her here so i actually have that doll because i am a barbie collector so let me know what are you thinking girls did your girl hit it did i give you a barbie okay please let me know down in the comments and then stay tuned because we have another look that is coming up we're going to be giving you a little barbie extra on the next look and if you haven't already check out our first video from the series that is the president barbie look as always i want to say thank you so much for watching remember better care is better wear and i hope to see you in the next one like i'm ready to bend i'm a 10 so i'm pulling a can like jazzy spacey